Back at it, at the dump. Had to grab this quick little load. Apparently all these trees died, so they had to get new ones. Hey guys, it's Colton here. So over the past eight months, we started a YouTube channel called Haul and Head. And this channel has been focused on kind of like a vlog of some of the daily life stuff we do. So if you've watched our videos over the last year, you'll see that the main truck that we use is a 2016 Chevy Silverado 1500. And I don't know about you, but a lot of people on the internet trash 1500s, you know, to haul something. So I already had a 1500 when I started this uh, business. I was using um, a Dodge Ram 1500, a 2004 model. Um, and then I upgraded, I got a 2004 model Dodge Ram 2500, four wheel drive, three quarter ton. It was a gas truck, but it did a good job. Um, it had the Hemi in it, and we would use it for our jobs. And we, we could go to the dump, anything we needed. The four wheel drive would get you out of the jam, and the three quarter ton frame pulled you could pull as much weight as the truck could handle with it. It was a good truck, but it got old, it wore out, and it got unreliable. So then I bought a 2009 F350 um, Dually flatbed. And there's a video on here that I have a flashback of us doing some work out of it. If you want to check it out, um, it was before we got a dump trailer and we were using a 16 foot utility trailer and we had that F-350. I ended up putting a brand new diesel motor in that, brand new 6.4, brand new turbo. And it, with the price of the truck, I think I was in it 16 or 17 thousand dollars. And it was just a basic two wheel drive dually with a 6.4 XL model, nothing fancy about it. Just plain vinyl seats, um, no power windows or anything like that. Had AC though. Um, so I didn't really like the truck, it would get stuck all the time. So every time you would go to a customer's yard, if it was kind of soggy, you'd end up sinking, get buried, and then it was a mess to get it out. So I sold that truck and then I fixed up the three quarter ton Dodge, Raptor lined it, made it look pretty good, used it a little while, but I was having some issues with the dependability and then also it was horrible on fuel economy at seven miles a gallon with the trailer. So then I bought this Chevy Silverado and I thought at that time I wasn't gonna get a dump trailer, I was just gonna keep doing it the way we had been doing it which was using the 16 foot trailer and the dumps we use have like a convenience center drop off in them where it's just big containers so you never go out on the landfill so I thought alright I won't get a four wheel drive I'll just get this uh, 16 Chevy 1500 it drives good it's, it's a good deal so I picked it up no issues with the truck whatsoever drove great had no problem then last year during the summertime business got crazy so we were working 15 hour days and we had to speed up. So that's when we bought the dump trailer. And then we get in the dump trailer, it was of course the Iron Bull um, 16 foot dump trailer. It's a heavy trailer. At least 5,000 pounds empty. So the first day we put it on my pickup, on my Chevy, squats it all the way down to the bump stops, it's empty. And I think, man, what did I do? I did some research and I found out that they make the helper springs, the little overload springs that bolt in. I have a video that shows those. Um, so I bought a set of those and then I lifted the truck in the back two inches. It already had a front leveling kit in it. Lifted it in the back two inches. So it had two inches of rake with the leveling kit on it. So it was a little bit bigger than a normal truck. 
and I put the dump trailer on it with the ball that I showed in one of the videos it kind of flipped backwards so it had about a one inch rise on it um, and that worked pretty good but I had street tires on it and then we started having to use a landfill and so during the summertime the landfills are nasty they're muddy it's basically just a swamp so I got through the summer, had to get towed out a couple times, you know, no big deal, they hook a chain to you, pull it out. So over the past few months, I've kind of videoed like some of the issues that I've had with using a two wheel drive truck. I haven't really talked much about a 1500 truck. So I've been seeing people showing pictures of these trucks and they had the dump trailer on them and the frames all kinked. And bent. And they say, now that's why you can't buy a 1500. First of all, I've hauled at least 15,000 pounds of material in my 14,000 pound trailer. And I've never had my truck feel like it was gonna break like that so with a 16 foot trailer you can move your load back over so you got the front portion the axles and the tail if you put the bulk of your weight right over the axles and let some spill over for tongue weight but you put your bulk weight right there in the center with dirt it's heavy so you can't really fill a whole box up with dirt of the dump trailer, even if you had an F550, it's gonna bust the dump trailer because it's a 14K trailer. So, if you don't load everything front and forward, you're not gonna have that much tongue weight. So, I get guys messaging me and they say, hey, sweet video, I liked it. I have this truck combination, I have this one. Um, you think I can do it? Well just pay attention to what you're doing so if you've got a 1500 your biggest issue is going to be squat so if you get too much tongue weight it's going to squat down on you if you have the 5.3 motor in the Chevy or a hand with the 5.7 in it and they're both uh, half ton trucks you're going to have plenty of power to move the trailer loaded so the issue is not going to be motor power it's going to be balancing your weight correctly where it's safe and pulls straight but doesn't overload the front of your truck so if you got a 3500 dually then yeah pull the pull the skid steer all the way up to the front it doesn't matter the truck's going to handle it but when you got a half ton you have to be mindful of how load placement so i just wanted to make a quick video about load placement and give you guys an idea because i get a lot of comments on these videos so if you center your load over your axles, then the truck will do just fine. So the, I have one video on there where we have a scale ticket. It was 16,000 pounds uh, gross vehicle weight. That's not overloaded. That's the truck and the trailer alone weighs about 11. So, I mean, you got 5,000 pounds of material in the, in the trailer. That's not overloaded. So just pay attention to those things and then you won't have an issue with, uh, been in the frame on your trailer. Don't go get a half ton in a big uh, or short dump trailer like a 12 footer that doesn't have any ability to, to maneuver the weight and then go put like six shards of dirt in it. You're gonna, you're gonna squat it all the way down to the frame. But if you pay attention with it, you do a few little upgrades, get the helper springs, then you're gonna be able to, to carry the weight. Would it carry it, would a three quarter ton do a better job? Of course, I mean, no, I'm not arguing that point. But if you have a half ton and you need to move something and you're safe and you pay attention, then you, you're you fine. Just don't go flying 90 miles an hour down the road with a, with a 20,000 gross weight vehicle. Um, with the Silverado that I have, I'm comfortable hauling four yards of dirt or rock in the trailer centered over the axle. So if you guess that rock weighs 2,200 a ton, uh, I mean a, a yard, then you're looking at about four and a half tons, basically five tons 
of rock for that load. So that's 10,000 pounds plus the weight of the trailer. So you add 10,000 pounds to 11, so you're 21,000. So that's about where I would consider the cap on my setup. And that's with trailer brakes and with the load set in the right spot. And it does handle it. And I do it on a daily basis. I've hauled hundreds of the loads. Um, I go in the same local loading place for the last two years, never had an issue. So you're not gonna break your truck in half if you load rock on a dump trailer with a half ton. Just don't act like it's a dump truck and put 18 yards of rock in it. So the, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because I've been seeing a lot of hate on the half tons. And if it's what you got, use it. Don't be afraid of it. subscribers so if you just found our channel subscribe because we got a lot of stuff going this channel is just getting started so i'll catch y'all on the next one